This is Mr. O, and today I'm looking at some MTR board games. This is the first, just called the MTR board game. Let's check it out. To play this game, everyone chooses a piece. Now, before I start, just look at the pieces. They're amazing. This whole game looks beautiful, actually. Anyway, you choose a piece and then a mission card. This tells you where to start, where you go, and where you finish on the MTR map. You spin a spinner to move and gradually make your way to wherever you need to go. And that's it. A beautifully designed game that's pretty fun to play. Except that's not it. You see, this game isn't just called the MTR board game. It's actually called the MTR safety and courtesy board game. That's right. It's really about being safe and kind on the MTR. Now, I don't want to play a game about that. It's like playing a game called the please and thank you board game or the homework board game or the be nice to your brothers and sisters board game. Anyway, if the spinner lands on chance, take a question mark card and follow the instructions. In this case, move forward two stations. If the spinner lands on a customer service center card, take one of the other cards. You have one minute to act out what it says on the card without speaking and the other players have to guess. Now, this is mostly quite fun. For example, escalator. Octopus card. Lift. But some cards are really hard. For example, how do you act out three color recycle bin with just your body? Or concessionary single journey ticket without speaking? Or passenger information display system without people just saying, uh, is it TV? And some of the mission cards just feel like wasting time. Like if I live in June 1, why would I go and read some books in Causeway Bay if I've then got to see my friends off at Lo Wu? It's the complete other side of Hong Kong! Why wouldn't I just go to Chun Wan Library? That's where I live! So, the next game that I'm going to play is this one doesn't actually have an English name but in Chinese it means I am free to walk around the special administrative region anyway let's see what it's like actually there's not much to say about this game you get a map of Hong Kong a dice and some counters but I'm not going to use these because the other ones are so cool you start in one corner and make your way to the other side of the map. The other player does the opposite. The only funny thing is that the Dong Chong line is missing and the East Rail line seems to go right through the middle of Hong Kong instead of along the east side. Anyway, for $26.60, this is a good enough game. The next game, I need to go to London. So let's go there.